with an industry first. Waymo gets the green light to test autonomous cars on Bay Area streets, but not everywhere. KPIX 5's Kit Doe on the five cities where the rubber will meet the road with no driver. Kit? Yes, we are live here at the corner of Castro Street and El Camino Real in downtown Mountain View. This is the geographical heart of the testing area. And take a look at this map. The shaded area shows the region within Santa Clara County that uh, allowed for the testing. This is uh, Palo Alto, Mountain View, Los Altos, Los Altos Hills, and Sunnyvale. Now, before the company actually expands into these other cities, they'll provide notice and submit a request to the DMV. To get a sense of what it's like to have a Waymo minivan cruising around your city, we follow this one around for a few miles. What's remarkable is that it's pretty unremarkable. It drives by the book, always signaling and going the speed limit. Waymo has just reached a milestone itself, 10 million miles of road testing in about a decade. For San Jose State Professor Fred Berez, today's announcement is a significant engineering achievement. You're excited, not uh, nervous or apprehensive or anxious? I'm not nervous. I'm anxious to see more of these on the road. As part of the DMV permitting process, the vehicle must have, among other things, a $5 million insurance policy, a law enforcement communication plan, and continuous monitoring and a two-way communication system. Berez says it's no surprise Waymo was first. What makes you so confident in the technology at this early stage? It's the experience of the people that have been working on it, the duration of the time. They have invested time and money, the number of years as well as miles that they have put behind them. Since they began testing in 2009, there have been several dozen minor crashes, the vast majority caused by other drivers. The computer was to blame for just one of them in 2016 when it was caught on camera pulling into a VTA bus and sideswiping it. Would you feel comfortable crossing the street with your family in front of these uh, Waymo cars with no driver in? I would like to do a try by myself initially and then maybe I can bring my, my family later. And so at first it's going to be just Waymo employees riding in them, but after a while Waymo says that they'll invite members of the public to ride in them just like they did in Arizona. Back to you. Okay, what is the protocol here? What happens if there are collisions involving these self-driving cars? So they do have a protocol, a set of rules that they have to follow where they contact law enforcement, but also by law they have to tell the DMV about the accident within uh, 10 days. And if you want, you can actually sign up for email alerts from the DMV informing you of all those accidents. Oh, interesting. All right, Kit Doe live for us there in Mountain View. Kit, we appreciate it. Thank you.